Hello everyone. This video is an introduction to the Strength of Materials playlist in this video channel. In this video, we will introduce what Strength of Material is and we will make an outline of the playlist and talk about the topics which will be included during these lectures. First of all, what is strength of materials? We all know that applied mechanics is an important topic for all engineers, especially for mechanical and civil engineers. And solid mechanics is a subject within the applied mechanics. What does solid mechanics deal with? It deals with the behavior of solid bodies subjected to various types of loadings. The solid mechanics has actually two branches. The first one is statics. In statics, we deal with rigid bodies and we do not consider the deformation of the material. In strength of material, which is the second branch, and it is sometimes also called mechanics of materials, we take our bodies as deformable solids and we also consider the behavior of the material. In summary, strength of materials deals with the relationship between the external loads applied to a material and the resulting stresses and deformations in that material. So what does strength of materials course include? It, it includes methods of calculating the stresses and strain in engineering structural members such as beams, such as columns, such as shafts. The materials which are used in these mechanical designs must have the ability to withstand the applied load without failure or permanent deformation. So what is failure? You can define various failure modes. For example, you can take a material as failed when the yield strength is exceeded. That means your mechanical design begins to deform permanently. Or you can take the ultimate strength as a criteria. That means you have failure when rupture occurs or you can take the rigidity or the toughness as a failure mode. In summary, we can say that for all engineering branches, strength of material is important, especially for mechanical and civil engineers. So how do we study the strength of materials? And the strength of materials we start with the review of mechanical properties of materials and with the rigid body mechanics. Well, these are information which you have obtained in the material science course and here in the statics course. Well, this information is essential to be successful in studying the strength of materials. So, if our review is not enough for you, we recommend you to make an extensive review of these topics. The next step includes the calculation of stresses and strains for the basic loading condition. What are the basic loading conditions? Uniaxial loading, tensile or compression, shear loading, the bending, and the torsion. These are the basic loading conditions. And if we finish these four basic loading conditions, we will investigate how it's going to be when these basic loadings are acting at the same time on the same member. We call this combined stresses especially when you have more than 
one type of loading where you have, for example, in a shaft a uniaxial and a torsion loading. Well, this is a combined loading condition. And in this case, we must be able to calculate the combined stresses. So if we have the combined stresses, the next step is to calculate the principal stresses and equivalent stresses. So you will hear about these values later in our videos. Having the equivalent stress, the next step is to judge whether there will be failure or not. And for this, we use different criteria. For different types of materials, there are different criteria. In our videos, we will introduce these criteria and how to use them. Okay, in summary, that's the review of the playlist, which includes approximately 15 videos. And I hope you will enjoy it and that it will be helpful. Thank you for listening.